everyone. My name is Kansas Bowling. My name is Parker Love Bowling. Uh, welcome to episode one of Road Trip Movie Reviews. Um, On this episode, we're going to be talking about the classic. Classic Paul Mazursky movie. Scenes, scenes from, from a, a mall. mall. Starring Woody Allen and Bette Midler. What an attractive couple. Um, so we're on a road trip right now. We're, you know, we're, we're driving back from a rodeo in Virginia City. An ostrich rodeo. Ostrich rodeo. So, you know, we just like to travel around in our, in our car. There's a of that to come. Stay Vin tuned. Vlog to come. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we just, um, we're just all about the nomad life. We love to travel around. Um, I get to the movie. <laughs> Well, I'm just, I'm building up the channel. Oh, okay, okay. I'm oh, um, sorry. So, you know, we, uh, uh, we, we live out of our car. <laughs> and, uh, this car actually... <laughs> this car actually converts into a camper van. It's a, um, a, U, uh, a Euro van. <laughs> it's a U. <laughs> it's a homeless van. Actually, a U-Haul. It's so not funny. I don't know what you said. Um, so, we're gonna start vlogging our adventures. The crafty Needle crafty Toll. Needle Toll. Okay, so, and then, um, and we're gonna talk, while we, um, talk to you, um, while we're on our adventures, we're gonna talk to you about really, really good <laughs> movie. We're gonna get into politics <laughs> and beauty hacks. <laughs> and, um, resort world reviews. Um, my, I'm just gonna give you a little bonus. <laughs> Man, my beauty hack. We have a pimple with toothpaste on it. It dries it out. Um, yeah, also, like, if you don't have a bathroom, <laughs> Um, we're lucky enough to have a full shower in our um, You can just. Um, this is a, a really, really good alternative. <laughs> so that one's for you, and this one's for you know what. <laughs> it's always going to separate them in case um, you get your fat yourself in a situation where you need to drink your urine. Um, <laughs> We're currently passing through a town called Walker, California. It's so cute. So anyways, seed from a mall, dirt from a mall. <laughs> Which is, takes place in Los Angeles, California, where we're heading right now. It's mainly set at the Beverly Center. And I know what you're thinking. That mall is so over. Well, in the 80s, or this is early 90s, I think it's from it 1990. was happening. Um, it was the place to be and the place to be seen and the place to get sushi. Spoiler! <laughs> So, yeah, like, I know everyone's a really big fan of the Beverly Center anyways, but, like, if you want to watch an entire movie set inside the Beverly Center, then this movie's for you. Um, raise your hand if you're a Woody Allen fan. Raise your hand if you're a Bette Midler fan. <laughs> My phone just put his hands way down. But, like, Beaches is really good. Uh, so... <laughs> Other than that, no. um, but they're just such an attractive couple. That whole scene before the Beverly Center when they're in bed, it's their anniversary plot line. It's their anniversary. So, okay, yeah, let me actually, I'm gonna go through the whole plot. I had to write it down because we haven't actually seen it in a while. So. <laughs> and we were on mushrooms when we watched <laughs> Which I recommend if you want to make a bad movie good. It was a really good movie. Um, so. Yeah, we, we were on mushrooms because it was the only way we could get through watching Elm vs. Pharaoh. Which was also very funny. <laughs> um, but, you know, we were still high afterwards, so we decided to watch. We decided to mall. support Woody Allen instead of um, Mia Pharaoh and her um, set plan. Yeah, we actually turned it on because we thought... <laughs> I'm just going to hold it for a second. We <laughs> thought Woody Allen directed it because we... <laughs> <laughs> Since we're all, yeah, so we were trying to find a Woody Allen movie to watch. To give yeah, we're, box. yeah, we're like, let's support our boy Woody up for this hit piece. Um, so we put on Scenes from a Mall, and like, it wasn't until it started that we were like, oh, this is a Paul Mazursky movie. Yeah, which his later films, 
Tempest, as you all know, if you've seen The Tempest, are insufferable. Um, I can't really comment on that because I haven't seen The Tempest. I've only seen his earlier ones, which are, are good. Um, so I don't, just if, if you quote us on any poems or CK, it's not me. Um, at a certain point, he becomes. Just sit in a tissue box for a second. <laughs> okay, yeah, I had really bad allergies last night. I can't get this out all night blowing my nose. Um, that's your problem. <laughs> you have a good car so, beauty hack. If um, you blow your nose too much and your skin's really dry from the desert, that like, can't explain this is the desert. We're in fucking uh, Reno! This is not the desert! All over your face. Okay, so it starts off. Um, with Woody Allen and Bette Midler having sex, really strong way to start off a movie. It's really sexy, and um, Woody Allen has the hottest little ponytail. She, Woody Allen does have a ponytail in it, but Midler has, you know, short hair. Um, they're both wearing, like, tracksuits. <laughs> um, and then you find out it's their anniversary. I can't remember the year, but it's some milestone. And he, he works in the industry. If, um, you don't know what the industry is, then <laughs> just don't bother watching this video. <laughs> yeah, like, you should know. Um, so it's their anniversary and they're like, okay, let's celebrate and go to the Beverly Center. <laughs> no, that's actually not. Um, they're playing a party, an anniversary party for that night. So they have to go to the Beverly Center to pick up a few things. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, but they all, I mean, they basically do celebrate at the Beverly Center, so, you know. Um, <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the road. Well, I, I'm bored. <laughs> um, so. They're celebrating at the Beverly Center um, and getting the sushi platters for their party. <laughs> and then, uh, um, Midler is um, a sex therapist. She's, a, a, she's a sex therapist slash marriage counselor, and she wrote a book, <laughs> <laughs> which I would love to read because I want what they have. Yeah. Well, that's what you think. You think you want what they have. <laughs> that's what. That's what you think. Oh. <laughs> I'm not. I'm literally looking at the book. they go into a bookstore and they see like this huge display with her book everywhere. This is like car chat. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then there's like an interview. Oh, <laughs> Hi guys. Um, so we thought we would continue this review. Um, and it's a couple hours later. <laughs> um, sorry, we just had to end the other part really abruptly because Parker hit, um, she hit a mule. <laughs> On the road, um, there might have been a deer. I don't know. There was, was someone riding it. It was. So. It was. It was. <laughs> there was lots of carnage afterwards. It was hard to identify. But what good the thing we was. picked up some dinner. Am I right? Um. Well, I'm vegetarian, so. Um. But anyways, so scenes from all. Um, is the only thing that can make me feel better after what just happened. <laughs> I feel really sick to my stomach right now, um, but it's okay because that's exactly how I felt when after Alan vs. Pharaoh. No, in the scene, <laughs> in Seeds from Wall, when they're in the wall, getting ready for their anniversary party. <laughs> and you know what Woody says? You know what Woody says? Right in front of Suni Previn. <laughs> True. She is, she's an extra. She's an extra. In a featured scene. extra. Actually, I can't remember if it's this scene it's or another scene. <laughs> okay, well, she's... It's a She's an extra. Scene. Look out for her. She's cute. It might be this scene. Um, he says to Bette Midler <laughs> that he had a fucking affair. He tells her on their anniversary. And like, we were watching this and we were like, what? Like, here we are, you know, wishing that we had <laughs> what they, they had. had. <laughs> And he tells her he had an affair on their anniversary, right before their anniversary party. Before it's like they're supposed 45 to, years or something. Before they're supposed to meet with all their friends. Like, like he could have waited. Like, way to go. Great time to tell her. And you know, and then she throws the expensive sushi they bought for the party. All over the mall. All over the mall. So maybe so, he does that later so like, and she just left, leaves it somewhere. That might have happened in the scene. It might have not. But if it did happen in the scene, like, first of all, how dare he... It was like $500. Yeah. How, how dare he for cheating? But then how dare she... Oh my god, kids, we for, forgot the surfboard. They... She 
buys him a surfboard. Wait, I thought they were getting it for their kid. No, no, she buys it for him. Oh. Right, well, they buy a surfboard in the mall in the as mall an anniversary too. present or for one of their kids. So the whole movie, it's like really wacky. You know, they're, they're it's just, just carrying on a surfboard. Just, keeps hitting people. With yeah, it. it's like there's, it's like very, um, it's slapstick you know, comedy. It, it kind of reminds me of you know Groucho Marx, Groucho Marx, Buster, Buster Keaton, Keaton, the one with the little mustache, Shh. Adolf Hitler. <laughs> No, 
So then she forgives him. So then they call the friends, party's back on. But then she admits the affair and then she calls the friends, party's back off. And then they make up again and she calls, she's like, party's back on. So, you know, they, they really, they bring you on this roller coaster. It kind of goes like this. It's kind of like, are we ever going to get to this party? It's kind of like partners driving, if you know what I mean. Well, that's because it's a curvy road and it's like that.
just saying he has to have a really restaurant. great oversized cream suit. That oh, is, oh, I it remember was. That suit, that's really good. Though. Yeah, um, I wanted to mention the suit. Yeah, but I, I don't know if, you, if you're a fan of Woody Allen and Bette Midler having sex, then this is like the movie for you. Yeah, because I think it's the only movie they have sex in. Yeah, but twice. So, okay, and raise your hand if you think our next movie should be starring Woody Allen and Bette Midler, and it's basically like just a softcore porn. Well, I don't think it would be softcore porn. I just think there should be really beautiful, carefully choreographed love scenes um, between Woody and Bette, and it would be a sequel to Scenes from Mall, and they would come back to the Beverly Center and be like, Boy, why is it so dead here? Yeah. And then they would buy it. They try to remodel it. Oh, and they make their bedroom the movie theater. <laughs> yeah, they buy it, turn it into a mansion. Okay, that's a really good idea. Yeah. That's some prime real estate right there on that corner of. And it's called Seats from the Mall House. <laughs> <laughs> or no, it's called Welcome to the Mall House. <laughs> Then just be gone. Yeah, just be gone for 